everyone this is Sarim Khan and first of all I wish happy Diwali to all of you and since today once again we are going to study some problems on graph for kinematics and this problem is our first question in this video so guys first of all, this problem first of all gives us a graph later it says that find average speed in time interval from t equals to 2 seconds to t equals to 10 seconds. Option A 1 meter per second, option B 0 0.5 meter per second, option C 0 0.25 meter per second and option D and our fourth option is 0 0.2 meter per second. In this graph, according to this graph, we have to tell about what is the actual average speed of the particle for which this graph has been given. So first of all, since we know average speed formula, okay, average speed formula we always write as the total distance covered by the particle divided by the total time taken to cover so much distance for the particle. So here, can this formula be applied? If we want, we can easily apply this formula, but how? We can notice here one very nice thing that from when to when we have to find out time interval. It is for a time interval. Since if it would ask for us to, if for finding the instantaneous speed, then we would apply it at an instant. It would say at 5 seconds, just find out. At 2 seconds, at 10 seconds, like this. But from t equals to 2 seconds to t equals to 10 seconds. From this interval to this interval. In this whole total interval, we have to find. So, we have to first of all make sure in this total interval how, how much distance it will cover. When it is at 2 meters, it is, uh, it is at 2 seconds, then it covers just 8 meters because time is in seconds and distance is in meters. So, at 2 seconds, it is covering 8 meters, okay. After that, what happens? When it reaches to 10 seconds, here we can see when it reaches to 10 seconds, it just covers how much? It covers 10 meters. So, according to this, we can see when it was at 2 at two seconds it covers just 8 meters and next pair we can make at 10 seconds it covers just 10 meters okay so how what is the total distance covered by the particle if we want the distance covered so this minus this okay this minus this so we can do that the total distance covered by the particle during this time interval from t equals to 2 seconds to t equals to 10 seconds is this minus this 2 meters 2 meters the particle has covered in how much time in t total in t total what is the value of t total this minus this 8 seconds 8 seconds means in 8 seconds the particle covers 2 meters and if i again write the formula that average speed is total distance traveled by the particle divided by the total time taken in how much so much total distance it is traveling then it will be equals to what total distance is 2 meters 2 meters divided by total time taken is 8 seconds divided by 8 seconds so which is equals to 1 by 4 meter per second this is 1 by 4 meter per second is the answer but we can see that in option 1 by 4 meter per second is not it is not because if we want so we can convert 1 by 4 in decimals so after converting it will be getting 0 0.25 meter per second hence 0 0.25 meter per second is the average is, is speed of the particle from in the interval t, t equals to 2 seconds to t equals to 10 seconds since option number A is 1 meter per second it is wrong B is 0 0.5 meter per second it is also wrong C we can see so option number C is 0 0.25 meter per second and matching to our solution this is the correct answer and D is 0 0.2 meter per second that is also wrong so this uh, since if we can see that in this problem C is the correct answer so since this is our question number second in this video so this question is really very nice question this is again giving us any graph and saying to us by giving this graph for any particle imagine i am present okay let i travel any distance this is actually a displacement time graph i am present and i travel any displacement through any displacement so later what happens my friend just asks me that draw the displacement time graph for your 
velocity to so that I am able to find out your velocity, draw your displacement time graph in this journey, and I draw this graph. Latum, what happens? Latum, I say to my friend that I just try to find out through what velocity I have gone through t equals to zero seconds to t equals to five seconds in this time interval. So latter, I am giving him options that ten meter per second, twenty meter per second. 30 meter per second and 25 meter per second. Those are our options. And according to this given story, we can easily solve this problem. This is our displacement time graph. So if we want, we have to find out from t equals to zero to t equals to five seconds. This is so. First of all, what we can notice clearly at t equals to zero, we can write that at t equals to zero, t equals to zero seconds, that the s will be also zero. Displacement will be zero. And what? Later happens at t equals to five seconds. What happens? We can see at t equals to five seconds the displacement of the particle is hundred meters. So as we can write is hundred meters. So from zero it was zero, and when five seconds after five seconds I was found at hundred meters. Means I have I have been displaced hundred meters. Then what will be my average velocity? If I write the formula for average velocity, then that will be delta s by delta t. Okay, net displacement by total time taken. In how much so much displacement in, is happened? Already I know that what is my net displacement. Net displacement is hundred hundred meters minus zero. Hundred meters minus my initial uh, initial position that is zero divided by in how much time? In five seconds. In five seconds, which is equals to what? So easily we can do this. So this will happen twenty meter. Per second, twenty meter per second, or if you want, you you can also write such twenty meter. Okay, like this also you can write since we know that meter per second can be also written in this form and also in this form. So this is our correct answer. Means if I am moving by taking my average velocity by twenty meter per second, it means my displacement time graph will be of this form. Since option number A we can see ten meter per second totally wrong. We can okay. So since we know that this is not Uh, right after that 20 meter per second. Since we see that this is the correct answer because it is just matching to our solution. We have found the average velocity 20. Okay, in SI units here is also 20 in SI units. 20 meter per second. This is right. C we can see 30 is also wrong and D we can see 25 is also wrong. Hence option number B in this problem is the correct answer. So since this is our question number third in this video, so since this question is really very nice and very fantastic, that is again giving us any position time graph. Later, this question says to us that in the given sinusoidal position time graph, the average velocity in time interval t equals to t one. Two t equals to t two is option number A equal to zero, then greater than zero, then less than zero, and then none of these. So we have to solve this problem. Means we have to find out the average velocity of the particle from t one to t two in this time interval. Okay, in this time interval. So since again I am writing average velocity formula as net displacement by total time. Okay, or you can write delta s by delta t. But what if I say since we know that we do not have the value of position, we do not have actual the value of the displacement. Okay, traveled by the particle. What is the displacement covered by the particle? So how can we use this formula here? How can we try to apply this formula? How is it possible? So it can be easily possible. Only what we have to do, this formula is not going to work in this question. This formula will. Not Not work in this question. What we have to do? If we want, can we make a chord between time interval? Okay, between this instant and this instant, between this time interval. So if we want, we can make this chord. Okay, I am making this chord by saying, imagine this is a. And this is B. I am making this chord A B. Later, if I say to you that the slope of this chord will be our velocity, our average velocity. So really, this is very interesting concept. Very interesting concept because then easily we can do it. Since we know that slope, slope means slope means tan theta. 
Okay, slope means tan theta. Where the theta is the angle that any tangent or any kind of chord is making with the x-axis. This chord is like this. Since and uh, the since if we have any position time graph in that uh, during any part uh, any time interval we are making any chord or any tangent and if we have to find out the average velocity then the slope of that chord or tangent will be our average velocity. This we know. So this is our chord and this is also horizontal x-axis axis means the angle here theta is again 0 degree theta is 0 degree then we can write tan theta is equals to the tan 0 degree tan 0 degree is 0 it means slope of this line is 0 okay I say that slope of the chord is 0 and if slope of the chord is 0 actually what is the average velocity in this position time graph so average velocity means slope of this chord between the time interval well, t1 to t2 then slope is 0 then the average velocity will be 0 then I will write that actually the average velocity from t1 to t2 between this time interval of this kind of particle whose position time graph is given that will be also equal to 0 first option we are getting equal to 0 this is the totally correct answer B we can see greater than 0 and this case this case is never possible okay this case is never possible that 0 will be greater than 0 okay so that's why option number B is totally wrong less than 0 less than 0 is not possible because again we can see that 0 can never be less than 0 this is also very important case hence C also is wrong and D none of this how can none of this possible because since we know that A we have got so none of this is also wrong so B C and D are wrong while option number A which is equal to 0 is the correct answer means for any particle imagine I am present I am traveling any distance any distance displacement and this is my position time graph so according to this from t1 to t2 the average velocity of mine is zero so this is the correct answer hence in this third question in this video option number is the correct answer so this was my today's topic based over the some graph type problems on kinematics for je thank you